Uh, thank you very much, and good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for the work that you do. Uh, you know, I, I am so incredibly appreciative of everything that you all are putting forward in your testimony, your thoughtfulness. Um, my first job out of law school was a narcotics prosecutor in the Bronx, so I understand this completely and the importance of the work that you do. Uh, as a member of Congress representing the United States Virgin Islands, I very much strongly support the bipartisan effort of reauthorizing the Office of National Drug Control Policy. I see how important it is not only for our nation uh, in terms of treatment, but preventative as well in terms of stopping the flow of drug in and out of this country and its transportation throughout. Uh, for, for years, the otherwise peaceful communities in the U.S. Virgin Islands have been experiencing elevated levels of crime and violence. Much of it is related to our economy, and that economy has in turn um, moved tremendously to a growth in illegal drug trade. And we are very grateful for Haida's presence in the Virgin Islands and would be in favor of increased presence in the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, because we are aware that much of the traffic of drugs that is coming into the mainland is coming through the Caribbean corridor, um, which many people are not aware of how much drugs are coming into this country through such a small area of the United States. And so you can imagine if it is coming through such a small and porous border in this small community, the effect, the tremendous effect it is having on the people that live there, um, neighborhoods, individuals completely, uh, completely afraid to go out, not only at night, but now even during the day, where we are having drug wars and shootings occurring uh, not even blocks away from schools in the middle of the day in this community. And although a significant effort has been made in recent years to secure additional Federal attention and resources to address drug trafficking um, through the U.S. territories in the Caribbean, it, in our opinion, much remains to be done to help stem the flow of drugs and related crime, as well as to diminish the negative impact of drug abuse in the communities across the United States Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Now, in response to a congressional directive earlier this year, ONDCP took a major step forward in helping to promote a well-coordinated Federal response to those issues by publishing the first ever Caribbean um, border counter-narcotic strategy. And I would ask you, uh, Director Botticelli, as well as Mr. Kelly, as to whether or not you believe that explicitly including the U.S. Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico and statutory mission of ONDCP would help ensure that drug-related issues facing the American's Caribbean border are fully included in aspects of your work. Because we are so small in numbers, um, in population, people are unaware that almost 40 percent of the drugs that come into this country come through those two areas. Thank you, Congresswoman, for your question and for your concern. We share your concern in terms of looking at trafficking and increasing crime in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands uh, to do that. We have seen an increased flow uh, in uh, the Caribbean as it relates to some of the drug flows, so we share your concern. And we are happy to comply uh, to produce the 2015 uh, Caribbean counter narcotic strategy, which addresses a wide ranging issues. We are actually going to be convening uh, all of the relevant stakeholders in er er uh, early 2016 to review our progress uh, against our goals and ambitions for this and have every intent going forward uh, to include specific action items in our strategy going forward that address the Caribbean and U.S. Virgin Islands. I, it I will would, continue to be a priority. For I us. will work as closely and be as supportive of you as possible in that. Um, you know, our families and our elders, our children really need your support at this Great. time. Thank you. Mr. Kelly, do you have any thoughts? I visited Haida's, um, the, the group in Puerto Rico uh, about a month ago, was impressed by the work that they are doing, have been speaking with even our Coast Guard, who is doing quite a bit of that work as well, and would like to get your thoughts on this. Thank you, Congresswoman. In fact, you have you've struck a number of, of points that I have written down that are very germane. Um, the HIDA program um, has been intimately involved with, with the Caribbean, um, th not only through our, our HIDA program that is there presently, but we, on a monthly basis, uh, we have a conference call, sometimes attend as many as 90 people on the conference call, 
and it's the Caribbean uh, Intelligence Conference call, where members of not only ONDCP, um, but all the federal agencies here in the United States to talk about the transportation of drugs and the sharing of intelligence. And we've made some great, great progress, so much so that it has been a repetitive, um, a repetitive conference call and we'll continue to do that. To your point on um, including in the reauthorization and the, the type of border strategy, I think it's very, very important as we look at the drug issues here in, in this country that we not only have to look inward, but we have to insulate ourselves from the outside. Um, and whether it's a northern border strategy, a southwest border strategy, or a Caribbean border strategy, that is the transportation corridors where these drugs are invading our communities. So it makes perfect sense to me, and I think to ONDCP with the strategy that just came out, that the Caribbean is a very, very important partner uh, in this issue of reducing the supply that comes from elsewhere in the world. Um, and we know that we have to take greater strides uh, in, in protecting not only the people of the, of the Caribbean and those nations uh, and those territories, but uh, to prevent the transportation of drugs through the, to make that a no-go zone for, for these drug trafficking organizations. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will be ha I'm going to be so impressed with working with you all in that, but know that, you know, I will be on you. I will be watching. Thank you.